Yeah, I want to tell you about saving Buddy's life one time. When he was about five years old, he was in the basement playing with some friends down where the washer and the dryer was. So he told one of his friends that he could get in the dryer. So they said, well, show us. So Buddy, he opens the door and he crawls in the dryer. And so R.B. shuts the door. Before he got in there, he said, R.B., you're not going to cut it on, are you? And he says, no. So he got in and shut the door, and R.B. did cut it on. But that dryer was, if you cut it one notch past or one notch before, it wouldn't stop. It had to be right on the dock before it would stop. And so uh, R.B. didn't know he was going to cut it on, but he did cut on, and he panicked. He couldn't get it off. So Carolyn was in there with them, so she ran, I was out in the yard talking to a friend and uh, to a neighbor, and Carolyn ran out there and said, Buddy's in the dryer. So right at the second, I didn't, it didn't dawn on me, but then when it did, and it just a second more, I ran to the basement door, and I, inside the door was a little platform before you hit the bird uh, and some steps to go down to the basement. But when I went in the door and saw Buddy going around in the dryer, I didn't hit any of those steps. I jumped from the landing to the floor, which I was younger than and could do it, but okay. And uh, went over and stopped the dryer and got him out. But when I stood him up, he uh, cr just crumbled to the floor. And my first thought was his legs were broken. And then I said, no, he would have hollered if his legs were broken. He said he was just drunk from going around so many times. <clears throat> so I got pulled him out and then put him up. Uh, I set him over on a stool, and as I set him down, I saw his back was bloody, the blood all of his shirt. And um, so I took his shirt off, and in the dryer are ridges where the clothes go around, and each time he went around, his shoulders were hitting those ridges. And uh, so I got his um, back cleaned off and um, patched up, and I said, buddy, I said, why in the world did you ever get into the dryer? He said, well... I was just going to show them, and R.B. said he wasn't going to cut it on, but he said he did. I said, yes, he did, and I said, I don't think he meant to cut it on, but I said, just don't ever do that trick again. So, I hope he didn't. No, is that all you need? Yeah. Uh, I forgot to tell you that now that R.B., the one that started the drive, is a juvenile judge. You never have to finish it off. <laughs> is that really that?